This is a quick and easy video on changing a uh, 72 pin connector. I never do this when selling mine, but uh, I've been asked about it. Uh, and so I'll do a video like this. Uh, some people, of course, sell uh, Nintendos with new 72 pin connectors, and some people buy 72 pin connectors and, and fix their own units. Uh, I got this unit off of eBay. Uh, maybe uh, A week ago, I've never taken it apart. So, there we go, we got the six screws out. Flip it over, get your cover off. Very similar to my other video on how I actually clean my units. I'm going to take off these seven screws. This one's got a big glob of hair I see in it. And, uh, I assume most sellers that will sell a unit like that will take the hair out. But not all sellers wash the entire unit like I do. However, it's not necessary when you're doing your own. One day I'm going to write a book about all the things I've seen inside of these. This is actually a, not a very bad looking unit. Uh, I would still take it apart and clean it if it was, and actually will after this video is done. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty surprised. The difference comes is in my other video I pull these cables. You don't have to do that if you were just changing the 72 pin connector. You can take it out just like that. This is an example of just changing it yourself. I always clean this board here but this is what some people do when they say they have changed the 72 pin connector because they're not lying, they have changed the 72 pin connector. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, when I was first doing it myself uh, years ago, uh, I didn't think much about the board there either. So then you just slap it back together. There's a lip under here that you're going to want to line up to make sure it goes under the board. You don't ever have to take any of the cables loose. Uh, got some moths in there. But anyway, lay it down.
now. Not all 72 pin connectors <coughs> are created equal. And the person I buy mine from has done a very good job. Uh, and I'm pretty confident that this one will work. However, uh, I would not recommend putting the entire unit back together until you have had some time to look at it. Uh, working. So what I'm going to do is secure down the tray. There are six screws that hold down the tray. Remember that the middle one uh, on each side is the long screw and sometimes silver, sometimes gold. It's the screw that goes through the board. There's another screw that goes off the end of the 72 pin connector and really just holds it so that it doesn't wiggle. It's just a stable, stabilizing screw. All right. All right, I'm going to cut over in just a second here to a test of this unit to show you that that is all you really need to do to fix a unit. However, like I said, when I sell them, I like to clean them all the way up for you, for my customers. All right, here I am over at my testing table. I've already taken the plugs and plug them in. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to put a game in, one of my games that I've cleaned. All right, uh, there we go, let's see. Yep, appears to be working. Uh, so, pardon my CRT TV, but I don't uh, keep a good TV in this area. So all right. So uh, that is how you change a 72 pin connector in yours. That's it. I do want to add one further thing. Uh, if you watch my other video, you've seen where I pulled the uh, NES uh, 10 chip here. Uh, make sure you can see there. Uh, is the European version of Ice Climber. Uh, a very fun game. All right, so I have not done the NES 10 on this unit. So it's got a very clean 72 pin connector. However, this cartridge is not made to go with the NTSC uh, motherboard. So, as many people see nowadays, their system doing this. And there you go. At, uh, when your game is doing that with an American game, you have a, a Nest 10 problem as well. And what the system is doing is it's recycling. It is just rebooting. It's uh, telling it, hey, there's something wrong here. And so let's, uh, let's not work. And so it just starts resetting itself. All right. Uh, that, pardon my big pile of mess here, but anyway, this is my working table and I have all my parts and extra parts here uh, that I'm working with uh, on this weekend. Anyway, the, that one in the center there is the one that I just showed you not working. Uh, here is one that I've done the Nest 10 on that I just wanted to show you the difference. You can see the ice climber in it. I don't even have the tray in this one, but it will work uh, just fine. It has a new 72-pin uh, connector in it and uh, has not been cleaned. I'm actually working on a uh, another motherboard problem on it at this time, trying to find uh, a solution. Anyhow, so you turn on the power. go. So 
With the Nest 10 done, the European version works just fine in the uh, American NTSC console.